the sort of optics and messaging of sending something to Americans' homes that says says made in China on it at the same time that you're, you know, doing this thing that you consider to be a positive good for Americans um, and just kind of the overall, you know, philosophy of, of giving um, federal contracts to China. Well, well, I would say our objective and c continues to be to increase um, U.S. manufacturing capacity of tests. We also needed to meet a need that we had in this country for more tests and a shortage of tests and the understandable demand from people across this country to get tests and make them free and accessible, which required us purchasing some of those tests uh, from China in order to meet that demand. That's Jen Psaki telling a reporter why Americans are using made in China products for COVID at home tests. And COVID tests aren't the only thing made in China. So is the PPE the government is giving away to help protect you from the virus. The 400 million free N95 masks that the Biden administration is handing out were all made in China, our adversary. The government says it needs to replenish the country's emergency stockpile of N95 masks and plans on signing contracts with domestic manufacturers that can produce 141 million masks per month. That means a huge number of small U.S. mask makers will not be part of the deal. This is a story we've been following for a while. News Nation correspondent Brian Enton met with one of those small mask producers just two weeks ago, Luis Arguello, and visited his plant in Florida. Arguello used to make bandages used in surgeries, but he nearly went out of business during the pandemic because of the ban on non-essential medical procedures. So he spent big money retooling his plant to make masks. And now this, Lewis, with us here. Boy, you, you double whammy, right? People aren't buying masks because the administration's giving them away for free and the administration won't buy your masks. Yes, unfortunately, it's been quite a roller coaster ride over the last couple of years. Uh, very large ups and downs, scaling to become the largest mask manufacturer in the United States to mass layoffs, laying off close to 2,000 employees who were manufacturing U.S. made masks. Uh, we tried to communicate this to the government about a year ago that we needed help in order to stay in business. We didn't get help and we had to shut down the mask facilities. When you say shut down, so there were a lot of people who were out of business, out of work, and you guys, I'm sure, spent a lot of money on the mass facilities are losing money. Why do you think the administration is so unhelpful? Unfortunately, I think the mask uh, situation has been quite politicized uh, since the beginning of the pandemic. There has not been, up until a few weeks ago, a clear demand signal from the CDC telling people the quality of masks that you wear manufacturers. Initially, they said, don't wear a mask, wear a scarf, wear a bandana. And recently, within the last month, they came out and said, wear a good mask. We, as the American manufacturing uh, facilities, we've had excess capacity for close to two years where we could have been producing hundreds of millions, if not billions of masks and creating a large stockpile. They're giving out 400 million masks, but, but that is only three per American for a mask that's been intended to be used one per day. So they're mm -hmm. giving you three days worth of product. What happens after that? And the reality is that the majority of the mask manufacturers today are not scaling because we have not been contacted f to start producing and to start manufacturing again. Mm -hmm. Is there, other than cost, right, because an N95 mask in China is 25 cents, 75 cents for one manufacturer in the U.S., but 60% of the Chinese masks failed U.S. inspection requirements, so do the math. But why on earth would an administration that says that they are so committed to U.S. manufacturing of something that is so critical not call you guys? It makes absolutely no sense. Uh, even today, I lost a bid uh, yesterday to a, in the city that I live in, in Miami-Dade County, where they went and bought a Chinese mask because it was about 20 cents cheaper. Uh, it's very unfortunate. It's cheaper for two reasons. The materials they use, they don't work. They're non-regulated. A lot of them have graphene or formaldehyde, which are carcinogenic and can uh, you know, ha cause severe damage to your body. And they pay no labor or slave labor rates where in the United States we're paying a living wage. So it's, it's quite unfortunate that we have not had the support from the state or the city governments. Or, or, the, or the federal government. They, now, they say they need people who can make 141 million masks a month. Uh, that's a lot of masks. I'm guessing only the biggest of big companies can do that. Does, does the fact that you can't do that seem to justify not buying from you? Well, it is a lot of masks, but we have 300 plus million Americans. So that's half a mask a month. Is that enough? I think we need a lot more than that. We need billions a month in order for us to be able to have a steady supply of masks 
uh, for the near future. Now, the reality is no one wants to wear a mask. I agree. I myself don't like wearing one. But we need to have the domestic capacity if and when we need one in the future. I well, relate yeah, it to no, our that, military. That's, that's we don't want to use it, but right. we have it. Well, no, and if, if there's another pandemic and China decides to play hardball, you have to have the capacity and you have to have the stockpile. Why you'd buy it from China versus the United States is bewildering to me. Um, but and I, I make this, I sort of wrote this down. You kind of answered it a little bit. We, on the, we sort of take a dim view of masks on the show as well, just because unless you're wearing an N95 mask, it doesn't really do that much. But when the pandemic ends, if you're not selling masks anymore, and the federal government won't buy them from you, what's your guys' plan after spending all this money on the plant? Well, hopefully we won't have to shutter the facilities. Uh, luckily, our company manufactures a lot of medical devices and have been doing so for decades. This, the funny part or the interesting part is that usually in medical devices, no one will accept a Chinese device. No one will accept a Chinese pacemaker because if it fails, your patient dies. Yet on masks and tests, all of a sudden, the two things that matter no, everyone is willing to buy a Chinese product because it's cheaper. No one's going to inject a Chinese vaccine. Why should we do the same with a mask? That's a great question. Um, one I, I suspect people might start asking the administration. Um, hey, Louis, we really appreciate you joining us. Um, you're doing great work. I know it must be difficult, uh, but there's a lot of us who appreciate that if we need you, you're going to be there. And uh, we'll check back in with you, all right? Thank you so much yeah. for having me on the show. Yeah, no, thank you. Fascinating. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.